Hello, hello everybody. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do some sound design in Audacity. I know not everyone has the fancier tools like Logic or Reaper or anything like that, but Audacity, which we have right here, is completely free and you can do some cool stuff in it. So what I have right here is a voiceover clip of my friend April Ness doing some monster sounds for me. So let's play that without any effects or anything like that at all. <laughs> So some nice guttural monster sounds. Already sounds good, but we can do some fun stuff to it. So the main tab or main menu that you are interested in in Audacity when it comes to sound design is this effects menu up here. And you can see you have a lot of effects, but we're not gonna go through every single one. We're gonna go through probably the more important ones in the world of sound design. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually reverse this sound. So I'm just gonna highlight this part, effect, and let's reverse it. So now what we have here is a reversed version of that monster sound. <laughs> actually still sounds good. So with monster sounds, it doesn't have to be intelligible. So reversing it can actually lead to more variations and some new sounds. Then what you can do from there is pitch it. So you can always pitch shift pretty much in any audio software. And it's a very useful sound design tool. So what you can do is go to effect and then change pitch. You can see we have a whole bunch of options, but my favorite way to do this is just using this kind of slider right here at the bottom that just lets you make it lower or higher pitch. So let's lower the pitch of this. So you can see the percent change there. So let's make it 20% lower in pitch. So you can hear it's a little lower. Let's actually do one more. Let's make it a little lower still. Let's do like 30. There you go. So it sounds even more monstrously and more guttural. So there we go. So now we have a lower pitched version of our reversed sound. Then what we're going to do is add some reverb to it. So you can make it sound like it's coming from a space, essentially. So I can go to effect, then reverb. And right here, I can make this a sound like it's in a big room or a small room, like it's going to reverb forever or not for very long at all. I'm going to turn some of these parameters down just so it doesn't go too crazy. That should be all right. And you can see we have a wet only checkbox. And what that means is we're only going to hear the reverb, not the original signal as well. I'm going to turn that off so we can hear a mixture of the dry signal and the reverberated sound. <laughs> So you can hear it sounds just like it's in a little bit of a space. You can obviously add way more to it and make it sound even crazy. So let's uh, go ahead and do a little bit more. Make the room size bigger, make the reverberance more. Hit OK. So it has more of a tail to it. So you can just keep doing that over and over or just add one and turn all the parameters way up and make it sound like it's in a giant hall. Next, what we're going to do, and this is the final and favorite of Audacity for me, is pulse stretch. So if you go to effect and go to pulse stretch, this is a time stretcher. And why it's called pulse stretch is I think some person named Paul made a stretching algorithm a while ago and it pulse stretch used to be and I think still is its own solo application that you can use to stretch sounds out. But it's really cool that Paul Stretch can actually stretch sounds out without making it sound so choppy. If you stretch a sound out too much, generally in most software, it'll sound like it's copying pasting the same sound over and over and it's not generally a good sound. It sounds kind of metallic and weird. Sometimes that's an effect you want, sometimes not. But Paul Stretch can stretch things out and make it sound way, way smoother. So you can stretch things out by 20 times the length or five times the length or whatever you want. So what I'm gonna do is stretch this out, let's say three times as long as it currently is. Hit OK. And let me zoom out here. So now we have a longer file of this monster sound being stretched out over time. So certainly a very, very cool effect that I like a lot. I actually still use Paul Stretch sometimes separately from all my other fancy tools like Nuendo and all the other stuff that I use. Sometimes Paul Stretch is just something that I really want. Now, like I said, there's tons of other effects, but those are my personal favorites and those are some of the quickest tools that you can use in Audacity to do sound design. So you can do pitch shifting like we mentioned, reverb, reversing, and Paul Stretch, but you can use all of these to do some sound design and have some fun with an Audacity. 
So thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to sign up for my newsletter where you get access to a free ebook and two free courses that teach you how to work in the game industry. And you can sign up down below or in the card up above. Be sure to hit subscribe like every single YouTuber in the world will tell you and hit that bell just so you know when I put up new videos and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.